All right, all right, I got a good idea. Since we're doing expensive versus cheap shells, I went ahead, put the cheap one, low brass, and the chamber, and then backed it up with uh, the high brass. So the closer they are, we'll use the less powerful shell. And if I miss, which I might, we'll have a powerful shell to come up the rear, right? <laughs> come on, come on. No, don't land. Don't land. Don't land. Oh, 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 oh my God. Oh, oh, yes. What's up, guys? Real quickly here before we get into this sweet silence pigeon hunt. I've been having so much fun with the old silencer. If you guys haven't seen Turtle Box yet or heard about it, I'm here to tell you. Number one, my go-to portable lithium-powered, fully waterproof, run it over with a freaking truck, Bluetooth portable speaker. You can link up to now two of these together. This is what I used if you go back and watch my snow goose hunts from this year. And by the way, I have some unseen hunts coming up using this bad boy. You know me, I always try to save some hunts for the off season. And yes, we got this bad boy working in the snow goose spread. So I can't jam it right now because I'll probably get copyright for, you know, blaring some Hardy or some Co. Wetzel or something. But I'm here to tell you this waterproof six by nine has more bass, more high output, more volume, especially when you link them together. They're insane, guys. Use code Bob to save yourself some money. Huge supporter of the channel. Thank you to TurtleBox for sponsoring this video. Go to TurtleBox.com and check them out. Remember, tell your friends, tell your family, use code Bob to save some money, and when you do, it helps me so much. I got a little bit more to say about it here in the video, but let's get into it. I hope you guys were intrigued by the TurtleBox, guys. It's my go-to Bluetooth portable speaker. It's got a waterproof 6x9 in it. Uh, that is completely waterproof. You can dunk it in the water. You can leave it in the in the river, float it down the river with you on your float trips, whatever. They've ran over it with a truck. It's insane. The lithium battery is insane. We use it for camping, everything else. I need to bring one out here with me so I can do a little jamming during the pigeon hunt. Guys, come on, smash a thumbs up. If you're fans of the channel, been here forever, please all my long time subscribers, hook your brother up. We're back at it. I have so much energy, uh, so much ambition, you know. This bad boy has been a game changer and I knew it would, I really did. So thank you all for uh, being entertained. Um, I'm loving this, it's a bunch of fun. Today, nothing special except for the spread and the suppressor. Guys, this is my JK Armament suppressor. This is a 195. So if you go on the website and you check them out, it's the 195 12 gauge. Check it out, 195 SGX to be proper and uh, extremely user-friendly, amazing warranty. Um, they will replace it or fix it uh, no matter what happens. Yeah, so good people over there. Oh, I'm gonna wait. I shouldn't have waited. <laughs> oh no. Here comes another new flock right behind me. Come on, give it up. Get in here. Should have took a shot a little earlier. Darn it. All right, I think we're clear. Man, I should have sprayed and prayed. Why, Bobby, why? Oh, I could have just had him right here. Boom, boom, boom. Should have got rid of all three shells. Probably wouldn't hit anything. Looks like we got a little break. Let's go uh, check our first bird down of the day. Spread, made it small. Put a glob over there, a glob over here. It working, it is working. It's been a long time since we had a band. That is just an adult feral pigeon, boys and gals. Uh, so number one thing about the silencer that I'm getting used to, number one, aiming. Um, Y'all were asking, you know, how big of a pain in the butt it would be to shoot, shoot flying birds with it kinda. 
in the way of your bead, you know? Well, thank goodness it isn't in the way any more than it is because you can still see the entire bird. That's one thing I wanted to tell you. Number two, I've had uh, down in the comments, a lot of you guys saying, hey, it really doesn't sound any different here on the video, suppressed or not suppressed. This is why. Um, the GoPro, uh, this mic right here, which is a Rode, very expensive mic, it just doesn't matter. If you don't have like a high, high, high quality, um, I, I, I don't know it all here. Hello! He's just doing his job. But like I was saying, if you don't have like a really high quality uh, DB reader that is actually made for guns, probably isn't gonna work. What I mean is the pitch is so high and it's still so loud and snappy that it's gonna sound the same on these mics. So until I get a very high end DB reader that'll give us actual numbers and not just peak, cause that's what happens. These things, they just peak and they virtually sound the same, but they do not sound the same whatsoever in real life. And I promise you. Oh, there's a big group coming. Oh my. Just don't move, Bob, don't move. Look at this. Oh, thanks, train. I think they're gonna get in here. Look at this. Boom! Oh, one just died right behind me. Woohoo! We got two more on the ground. They decoyed amazing. Load back up, Bob. That was freaking sweet, boys. That flock ate it up. Now, I do have my plug in. So, three shells max. I wish I had my tube on. If y'all think that I should put my tube on this bad girl, drop a comment down below and let me know. So I think that should be the next uh, pigeon hunt is with the tube and the suppressor. What do y'all think? You got to just go down there real quick and let me know. Oh, here's another flock. Holy smokes. It's got to be the same birds that we just shot. Had to have been the same flock because they did not like it as much. Uh, if you guys watched the first hunt on this field, which was the last pigeon hunt, um, I, I went over like these birds haven't been hunted in so long. I was probably the last one and the only one to hunt these birds and that was four or five years ago back when I had Flare down. Uh, old Flare Daddy and Bonzel. Uh, old Bonz Daddy, yeah. Had them down and we tore them up for like two or three days. And ever since that season, uh, that wheat cut year, that harvest year, they have not hit any field out here except for this little bitty pasture. And um, I would like to say they're real dumb, but they're not. They're pretty picky. So one thing is there's not actual food out here. You know what I mean? It's literally just a small pasture for his horses. So, I mean, all in all, I could do some baiting out here, but I don't know how much it'd really help. Very dangerous maneuver, but I gotta go across the road to pick up a bird that sailed out of here. Not taking my gun, obviously. All right, when I get over there, I guarantee a flock will come. Every time, you know how it is. If you decide to pick up, while you're picking up, 100 birds laying in the spread, yeah. Oh boy, it's getting hotter and hotter. I really hope we get a storm tonight. Woo! -hoo -hoo. Last night when I scouted this, it was obviously scouted it around now. Actually, I scouted it at like 3, 3.30. Right now it's 2.37 p.m. Uh, afternoon time, obviously. And all we've seen are large flocks, kind of like the morning hunt out here. Uh, it's surprising to me because yesterday when I watched this field, it was like ones and twos and ones and twos. That's kind of what pigeons do in the afternoon compared to morning hunts is uh, they really trickle in smaller groups uh, in the afternoon and in the morning they all kind of bomb out together. But I'm really not seeing any difference uh, as of right now. The only thing I'm seeing is sweat in my eyes and large flocks of pigeons, which I haven't seen any in a little bit. Hopefully it didn't turn off or something, but we're gonna give it another hour probably, at minimum. Hopefully we have some more luck. We currently have the seagull migration over us. Steven Seagull. 
So basically, you see all these high lines behind me? The pigeons love to come out, roost on that thing. Uh, they kind of sit on it. Oh, oh, big group, big group. Oh boy, come on. One down. Now he's dead. Long shot. He crashed in the trees behind me. Coming over, coming over, coming over, coming over. Oh, that was an old sailor Jerry right there. Should have waited a minute, but I didn't want to. I'm gonna have to wait until we're done hunting to go find him. Because I know I'll get all the way over there and a flock will come. See, they're not just loving it. That's what I don't know. And again, again, this is not a planted field or a cut field with food in it. That's partially the problem. All right. All right. I got a good idea. Since we're doing expensive versus cheap shells, I went ahead, put the cheap one, low brass, and the chamber, and then backed it up with uh, the high brass. So... The closer they are, we'll use the less powerful shell. And if I miss, which I might, we'll have a powerful shell to come up the rear, right? <laughs> come on, get in here. I have available hunts for this coming 23, 24 fall season. Uh, November through February, there's availability. So anywhere from two of y'all up to 20 of y'all we got dates available get a hold of me y'all have to come check out the duck and goose hunting here in central kansas again between november and february that's my spiel i'm sticking to it the sand hill flyways link where you can book your hunt is always linked down below in the description big shout out to everybody uh that has came over the last three years to uh, Sand Hill Flyway, enjoyed three days with me. Uh, and shout out to everybody that's coming this year that are new and that have never been here. What's up y'all? And thank you for your support. I greatly appreciate y'all. Oh yeah, get in here. Come on. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh. What the heck? I hit him on the first. There he is. Woo! Boom, baby. Oh, we got more. We got more. We got more. Yeah, huge difference in the light loads to heavy loads, guys. Way different. High brass is where it's at. If you can afford high brass, guys, get it. If there ain't any on the shelf or you ain't got the dollars for it, okay, but it's definitely worth it. I gotta go get this bird off the road. And guys, um, it really doesn't matter exactly what brand of uh, high brass, but high brass uh, on, on lead shells, it's just a huge difference. Um, buy them yourself and find out if you never have. Come on, come on. No, don't land. Don't land. Oh, 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 oh my God. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, that was dirty. Ooh, two are coming back right here. Let's see if we can pop them up high. Oh my goodness. I destroyed that bird. He just floated right there. These two might come from the back right here. Jeez. Dude. High brass, I'm telling you. It packs such a punch. Such a difference in power. It's, it's crazy. Truly, it has been forever since I've seen 2,000, 3,000, 5,000 likes. It has been, it feels like so long ago y'all can hook it up as many as we can go as many as we can get whatever if y'all are feeling generous i would love to see it man two coming from the back 
Boy, howdy, that was a close shot. Let's step that off real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen yards, dude. Just floated in there, no band on the guy. Blue check, really old bird. I'm gonna put you right here. Didn't even see it coming, dude. He was so comfortable. 14 yards, high brass. Nothing left of that guy. That boy dead right there. Big flock. Big flock behind us. Oh, come on. Get in there. Oh, yeah, come on. Oh, come on. Come on. Two out front. Smoked. Smoked. Ooh, I got two of the three. Boom, baby. <whistles> Letting them have it. That's a really good flock of birds right there. Two of them out of the three. Woo! Wow, that second shot was a long one. Oh, this is so much fun with this silencer. Don't land, don't land. Oh, solo pigeon right here on the line. He is thinking about diving down into this decoy spread. He's really thinking long and hard about it. I can tell. All right, we got a little break again. Go ahead and stand up some decoys. This wind keeps just thrashing the decoys, blowing them over. Looking good. Oh, this is the black one that we just shot. No band, but really cool bird. Check him out. All black, jet black. He's cool. I'm gonna go pick up this one real quick, hopefully. Flock doesn't try to land on our head. There he is, not very far. This is the one, two shot. No bands. Nice older bird though, blue bar. That's a win. Oh God. Oh God, there's a big flock coming. Oh, they probably seen me bigger than you know what. Oh, they might be coming still. Oh yeah. Oh, he fell. That was a long shot. <laughs> yes. I did not think I was gonna get that second shot. Oh, they're doing it again, boys. He's dead. Yeah! Yes! Yes! Smashed him. Like I always say, right when you go to pick up birds or something, here they freaking come. Boom, baby! Boys and gals. Right over the top. Dang it, come on, get in here. Oh, coming back. Here's the last two birds I just shot. They're all a little younger one, blue bar. Good looking bird. Here's this guy. Feral birds. Just good old feral birds. Now that last one, that long one, was right at about 35 yards, but the thing is today, is I am shooting into the wind. So the wind's coming at me, I have no choice. So I probably sh actually shot that bird at 40, 42, I don't know, 43 yards maybe. The wind probably blew it back 10 yards before it actually hit the ground, so. The old suppressor put a good shell in her and uh, she works. I love it. I really like it. Oh, how did I miss that Bobby guy? What in the actual? Wow. I thought I was going to get a twofer on that deal. Three more coming from the back. I thought I was going to slap both of them right out of the freaking air. They were so tight. 
I have no idea what happened to my big camera footage. I filmed the pile and everything. No idea where it went, but I think I shot 10 or 12 that day. Not a bad day. I have some awesome videos on the way. You gotta just stay tuned. But like I was saying at the beginning of the video, big shout out to Turtle Box for sponsoring today's video. Like I was saying, you can pair these two off Bluetooth to your device, your phone, you know, whatever it is you use. And it's all in stereo mode. So right side, left side, they play different. They exchange sounds. Number one, unbeatable in the snow goose field. I'm telling you in the snow goose spread, these bad boys sound so realistic. Um, and why I loved them this year for snow goose hunting was one thing I've always hated about snow goose e-collars um, is that you usually use a bullhorn, you know, a bullhorn style. Um, they have zero bass to them. They scratch, squeal, just scream, static, <coughs> really nasty. These things are clean, and I mean clean. They put the bass in everything. Anyways, best Bluetooth portable speaker you will ever buy, no matter if you're a hunter, outdoorsman, golfer, boater, um, backyard games, I don't give a crap, barbecuing, whatever they their warranty is insane they're extremely durable and i would bet you you would have a hard time breaking it i'm just gonna let you know they are loud they are impressive buy two of them it's just so you can pair them up at the campsite or whatever it's worth it use code bob for a good discount huge supporter of the channel thank you to turtle box thank you all for being here uh lots of awesome content on the way i can't wait to share it all with you uh, I'm going to be headed to Texas here soon. Can't tell you why, but subscribe if you haven't. Hit that notification down there. It'll notify you when your boy uploads. I don't say that very often. Thank you all, but until next time.